For our project today, we're going to be listening to a story called Art Is, and then we're going to be doing a project where we think about why art is important to us or what art is. So we're going to be writing a little bit and drawing a little bit, and then we're going to be uploading a photo of it to our assignment. You are going to need a pencil, and you're going to need some markers today. If you don't have markers, you could substitute crayons or colored pencils. For this project, we don't really need this large of a piece of paper. We could actually use half of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half like this so that I have a longer sheet this way. And then I'm going to cut it down the middle like this, right on that line that I folded it on. And then I'm going to save this other piece of paper because I could probably use it for another project. I have a piece of cardboard or tag board that I'm going to put here under my project just so I don't get my work area really messy but you could use an old magazine you could use some newspaper um, or you could just work in a place where it's okay if the table gets messy we're going to take our pencils and we are going to start on this side on the left and we're going to write the word art nice and big a r t and then we're going to write is and then you're going to finish the sentence in the book that we listen to, Art Is, we heard all kinds of things that art can be. And I'm sure that all of you have a lot of ideas about what art can be too. Let's think for a little bit. Art is I'm going to write art is important. You can write a word or you can write a phrase. It's up to you. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to choose black for the beginning of this and I'm going to trace my letters art is and then I think I'm going to choose maybe different colors for the other letters and I'm just using my regular Crayola markers for this part. They want to keep rolling. So I think I'm going to do a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, Now you're going to want to come up with your own word, something other than important. Um, you use your imagination. And then we're going to decorate the border. And if you want, you could even decorate the background. 
Um, this is kind of inspiring me to go with a rainbow theme. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna draw maybe a rainbow that kind of is woven around the picture and even kind of through the letters a little bit. You can decide how you want to do it. I'm yours. It doesn't have to be a rainbow. It could be anything that goes along with what you wrote. Um, I think I'm going to make the rainbow go this direction. And I'm going to kind of follow along. Oops. See, good thing I have a little messy mat underneath. And then yellow. smooth that out make it look like I meant to do that like Bob Ross would say it's a happy little accident and then I'm gonna add some blue Now, I'm not sure, it doesn't quite feel finished to me. I think what I'm gonna do is take my purple and kind of color in the areas where it's still white, but where the purple is touching. And then, I might do some little dots inside. Now, when you make dots with your markers, you always wanna be really gentle. Sometimes I'll see artists that are really rough with their markers and they push hard, and then what happens is it kind of wrecks the tip of the marker and you don't have that nice uh, pointy end. So you don't want to do that. You want to be really gentle. And then I think I'm going to just add a few blue dots. And maybe just a couple green. And there you have it. Art is important. So let's see what all of you come up with. And I'm gonna show you how you can take a picture with your Chromebook as well, and then post it here. This little trick will help you when it's time to take a picture of your artwork. You're gonna need some tape, and you're gonna want two pieces and you're gonna roll it so that the sticky side is out and you're gonna put it on the back of your art like this. Oops. Then 
you're going to attach it to the top edge of a book or it could be a piece of cardboard, it could be a folder. That way you can hold up your art with one hand and then take the picture on your Chromebook with your other hand.